just close the door maybe? Thanks. All right, good morning everyone. As you know, football has been a cornerstone of the New Rochelle community and spirit for a long time. Coach G. Rienzo has been a part of that legacy and I know part of the lives of every single student on the football team and, and off the field. He impacts students as well as other coaches across the athletic department. I am well aware this is a challenging circumstance of his reassignment and it's a challenge even more because I'm unable to share many of the details I know people are inquiring about. Um, there is an ongoing investigation and to maintain confidentiality and the integrity of the process, I'm really unable to give further details at this time. I really wanted to convey to the community this morning the dedicated staff and coaches who've come together to assure that the students are supported in school, in school, in their lives and on the field. Last evening when these coaches arrived back around nine o'clock at night, they met with President Moselli, they met with myself, Principal Starvaji, to really talk through the supports that they have in place. They had met with the students to talk to them about their focus on the game, their focus in school, redirecting them, answering their questions, talking to them to support them, and they stayed until almost 10 o'clock last night. First and foremost, we're concerned about the students with whom they spoke to. I can assure you that Coach Foster, Coach Tosello, um, and Coach Rett are fully committed to the students. They are absolutely all in, and I wanna thank them publicly for what they do each and every day, but how they've really pulled together for students um, in this circumstance. Please feel reassured that they are working on behalf of kids, more like a family than like anything else. Students can go to them with, for anything, and I really want to thank them for all that they do each and every day. I appreciate their commitment as well as uh, Director Steve Young of the Athletic Department, as well as Principal Starvaji, who absolutely has additional supports in place. Should any students have concerns um, in school? Um, I also want to take a moment to recognize our student athletes that we're so proud of. We know how hard they work on and off the field, that we know how they pull together to really have a strong team on behalf of all the coaches and on behalf of the team. We know how much teamwork and time and effort and energy that takes and we really want to be cheering them on as they go into a really important game this weekend. So um, I'm here to take your questions at this time. What happened? I really, as I said, I can't discuss the circumstances of the incident the purpose of today and the purpose of having this meeting is really to share with the community how focused we are on the students, how the supports are in place at the school for the kids in this, uh, at this time. Is there a chance that you're working back? Uh, we are doing a thorough, diligent investigation. We are doing it as quickly as possible because of course this is an important circumstance, but we have to do a thorough investigation and when that happens you can never put a timeline on it. For the protection of the employee, I really can't discuss any of the circumstances surrounding his reassignment. The football parents said that he had a sister or two. I can't, I really can't discuss any of the circumstances regarding the reassignment. I really would, am here to talk about what's in place at the school to assure the football team moves forward. There are three tremendous coaches working really hard with the students. They were all in yesterday both on the field and off the field, talking to the students. And I want people to know that we value the coaches and the supports that are in place. This is an important sport. We are all proud of the work the students have done on this team. We know that this is a critical time, um, but we are required and it is important that we fully investigate um, the reassignment, the incident that led so to I've the had children in the district for, I'm just calling Ayala from town too. I've had children in the district for more than 10 years. Um, and I've been getting emails from the district for at least that long. I've never gotten an email like the one that you sent out yesterday where you name someone who's been, who allegedly did something before you determine whether what this person allegedly did, he actually did. So I know that some people are concerned about due process. Can you walk us through your thinking that led up to the email and the naming of the coach? So I won't talk about 
necessarily what happened before, but I think when you're in a circumstance where you're reassigning someone, that's a significant piece of information that should be shared with the community. Just the reassignment, it makes it serious. And so that is the thinking. It wasn't actually the only one. Um, in the past, there may have been conversations about whether or not we have been transparent about information when it comes to students and safety and concerns. And I think reassignment of a staff member, especially someone so prominent um, who was ready for practice yesterday and who has a game coming up, rises to the level to let parents and community members know it is the reason for this press conference to let them know we absolutely have children's best interests in mind when we're thinking about supports for them, how, how we have things in place with the other coaches, how we're all pulling together for students. And while I know it's really difficult for me not to be able to share details that people are interested in, it is for the employee's protection and reassignment is pretty significant to me. So early in your tenure, um, is this an indicator of what your mindset will be going forward when other staff members inevitably are accused or suspected of violating a rule or protocol or guideline? If it escalates to the point of reassignment, you can expect it. Uh, absolutely every single circumstance when something happens, the details matter, the investigation matters, the information we have at the time matters, and that's how we make our decisions on the details of particular incidents. But if it escalates to the point of reassignment, I think it's only fair that the community are aware. And what is the current reassignment? What is the status right now? Uh, it's just reassigned, not outside of the school. He's reassigned to outside of the school. Dr. Cagle, have you talked to them yourself? Uh, I am not conducting the investigation. We are conducting an investigation. I am not myself. I have not spoken to him myself, but an investigation is being conducted at the school. You and Dr. Cagle have been very upset community members, support, professional athletes last year. Are you prepared for that? Because they are very upset. Mm -hmm. How prepared are you to go into this next round? As prepared as I am to talk to you. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it is very hard when you're upset to hear. I can't share the details that you want to know. All the information that you're asking of me, I'm unable to really share with you and let you know what you're here for. But what I did feel was important that everybody had this, all the information at the same time. Calling a press conference doesn't sound supportive, but giving everybody through your lens, we're able to give everybody the same information at the same time, which is that the students are supported, we are caring for them as we always have. We have incredible teachers and staff and coaches at the school that are working um, side by side with guidance counselors and students should there be a concern that they have. And that's what I want to convey to everyone today, through your lens, and certainly what I'll convey in that room. Can you get a little more specific on the uh, protocol, on the policy that may have been violated? I mean, unfortunately, I can't. I, nothing surrounding that. And that's the most challenging part. What you're asking is what's most difficult for me, because of course, people want answers to that specific question. But because I'm unable to share it, it's to protect the employee. <coughs> Um, it's a challenge to say, uh, to not answer the questions that people want answers to, but please know that we will absolutely have a diligent, thorough, expedient investigation as much as is possible with the information as it comes to us to be able to resolve this. But it wasn't policy violation or procedural violation? I did not say that. I said I was unable to discuss what transpired. I cannot discuss anything regarding the employee, only that we have the supports in place to deal with the students and to work with them and work with families. And I hope to be able to convey that to the families in the other room. Was, it, was the reassignment uh, your decision? Ultimately, it was my decision. How would you describe how difficult the decision has been? Uh, anytime you deal with staff matters, it is a challenge. Um, and so while I can't share absolutely any details, as I mentioned, and I don't want to be sound repetitive, but I can't share the circumstances. It's always a challenge when th difficult things happen and you have to make a decision. Did you seek legal advice? I am not gonna discuss really the protocols in place in the district. Please rest assured that due diligence and uh, ensuring that we are fair in the circumstances uh, is in place. 
can't really discuss any of the details that would be unfair of me to share. How common within the MISO typically is it to, uh, is it for people to be reassigned? Uh, that I'm sorry, I did not bring specific data on. I will tell you that a second person was reassigned, yes. Related to this? Nothing to do with this, totally separate. Now, how come uh, you did not put, I mean, did you put out a message or an email about that no, other person? Okay. 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 Got it. Hey, Jerry, what's the, the exactly yeah. uh, reassign outside school means from a technical perspective? Are they being paid? Yes. Are they referring They're some particular place? What does it mean? Uh, they're just outside of the school, they cannot attend to their normal or come to the school or attend to their normal schedule, but they are still being paid. They're just not at school. Wherever is, he, is he banned from being on the campus? He cannot come to school to come to work, yes. How many years has he been here? Uh, I know he's been a coach for over 20 years. I think, I don't want to give you the exact date because I don't have it, but I know he's been a coach uh, here for over 20 years. Can you characterize how the athletes took the news of the reassignment? I can't because I don't have firsthand uh, knowledge of it. When I spoke to the coaches last night, he said they, they felt that the students were good, they were good coming to them with any questions or concerns, and they did discuss that this, as a team, they pulled together uh, when, you know, amongst themselves. And so uh, they did not indicate to me anything outside that team family. It felt like the family was taking care of the family and the kids were good. So I did not get specifics on their reaction. And you referenced this in your statement. Are you feeling any extra pressure or concern because it is so early in your tenure? These things happen. Would I have said, you know, my eighth full day on the job, my you know second week, that my press conference would be about something like this? I wish I was standing here telling you all about the fabulous arts programs and the wonderful sports teams that we have, which I'll put a plug for, and all of the great things that are going on in school each and every day. Um, but things happen the way they happen, and I want to make sure that we always, as always has been before, put students first. Is he allowed to attend Saturday games? He is not able to uh, come as a coach to the game. He is He's reassigned. A, no, but as a, you know, don't bring that up. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I would imagine he, the, he could come as a spectator, but he could have nothing to do with the team or the coach or the coaching or beyond the field. He is reassigned. Is there any chance that this might be resolved by Saturday or is that off the table? Uh, nothing is off the table. Uh, as believe me, as we are focused on this, we are paying attention to every detail. We are going to take the time that it takes to make sure we have really done a thorough investigation. And when that happens, we will absolutely let people know. But is one is there any more of the All three of them are, are working together. None of them have been distinguished as uh, taking his place, and I don't think anybody could actually take Coach D's place, but because they work all together so closely, they are, I know speaking to him, I know that they are um, fully capable of carrying out the kind of team and coaching plan that has been in place. They feel fully confident that they're able to support the students with the game plan that they had and to support the students emotionally and like a family, deal with any other things that come up for them. So they can communicate again about the children who just can't be there? He cannot be right. coaching in any way or teaching in any way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it.